I'm sorry to keep you waiting. That's all right. Uh, cigarettes. What kind? The players. Give me 20 players. Uh, what place is this, then? Clan Gashley. Clan? Oh, Do you know how far we are from Cardiff? About 30 miles from the straight road. Yeah. Well, if it is, it'll be the first straight bit of road I've seen today. Watch out. Bye. Bye. Oh, by the way, what? 
I was going to ask was, where's the local pub? There isn't one. Well, no pub. No, they closed it down, you see, after they shut the pit. There aren't many people left in the village now. They've all gone. Oh, I don't blame them. But where is the nearest? Well, I think that would be now silly. It's, it's on your road. Oh, tell. Well, then. Bye again. Bye. Come off, Remember, babysitting's ten shilling. Ten shilling for staying the night. Don't let her fob you off with five. No, Father. Tomorrow afternoon you'll go to your aunt's in Cardiff. We've been talking about... Oh, never mind, they'll tell you. You'll miss the bus if you don't hurry. She said then. She said, but doctor, I'm not even engaged. <laughs> oh, careful now, careful. Oh, she's here. Charles, give Ethel another sherry, will you? Thank you. I know when I've had enough. Oh, well. oh, good. Come in. Right on time. I should take your case up right away and have a look at the children. They should be asleep. Yes, Mrs. Medwin. Uh, come straight down. We'll have to get moving. Yes, Mrs. Medwin. You sure you won't have another sherry, Ethel? Oh. You will not. We don't want her singing all the way to Cardiff, you know. <laughs> Too hearty. It doesn't become you. Oh, it's <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, my dear. Let me help you with that. I've managed it now, thank you. Oh, well, oh. I'll just get my coat then. I think we're all set. What? One thing about Jenny, she is reliable. You don't have to worry about leaving the place or the children. You can rely on her. <laughs> well, that's half the battle, isn't it? Exactly. <laughs> Jenny, children all quiet and comfy. Yes, Mrs. Medwin. Good, good. Oh, my husband may ring. I've left a pencil and pad by the telephone. It'll be long distance, so be sure to take down the message properly, won't you? Yes, Mrs. Medwin. We'll be back rather late, all right, then? Yes, I hope you enjoy yourself. I'm sure we will. Oh, I've turned the television on for you. Good night, Jenny. Good, good night. night. Where's your boyfriend tonight, then? I haven't got one, sir. No? The lads of the village must be slipping. Charles! enjoys every minute of every day. A girl who makes the best of every occasion. A girl who gets the most from life. A girl who uses rose petal. From the very first time you use rose petal, it acts magically to soothe your skin like milk. And yet, wonderful secret, it sets it aglow like champagne. For rose petal is made from seven special oils that soothe your skin like no others can. Rose petal leaves you a fragrance, a look that's irresistible. The girl who gets ahead and gets the most from life is the girl who uses rose petal. Give your skin the glow of stardom with soft, gentle... Rose petal, rose petal. Rose petal for the girl who gets the most from life.
having a lovely time. Mr. Bedwick. Uh, would you mind telling me what the hell you're doing in our bathroom? I thought I'd take a bath. Well, get yourself out of there and get downstairs. I'll, um, I'll talk to you later. My clothes there on the bed. You'd better come and get them then, hadn't you? Thank you, my slippers. I was looking for them. Sorry. Mrs. Medwin said you wouldn't be home. I changed my mind. Good thing I did, too. Do you always um, carry on like this in other people's houses? Of course, you, uh, you know what I ought to do, don't you? I ought to put you across my knee and give you a damn good spanking. Mrs. Medwin's gone to a concert in Cardiff. Oh, I'm not going to chase after her, if that's what you mean. I've uh, done enough driving for one day. I, I wasn't sure if you knew where she'd gone, you see. As a matter of fact, you know, uh, this thing uh, suits you. What? This uh, negligee. I think it's lovely. Really lovely. Mm, suits you. Honestly. Uh, yes. I've never worn a negligee before. It really is lovely. I like nice things. Mm, so I noticed you, uh, you had a bash at the scent, too, didn't you? Well, I, I put a bit in the bath. I, did, I didn't use very much, truly. Well, that's all right. We haven't got a bath at home, you see. We have a tub in the back room on Thursdays. Not Friday. No, Thursdays. It's early closing, you see. Oh, yeah. You won't tell Mrs. Medwin, will you? Uh, no. No, I won't tell her. Anyway, she couldn't say very much, could she? I mean, it's no sin to take a bath. No. Oh, come on now. Don't tell me you've never been kissed. Eh? Go on. I bet you've been up in the hills with one or two of the local lads. I have not. I'd want something better than them, I should think. Look, uh, come and sit down a minute. Come on, then. Come on. Uh, that was right, what you said. You've never had a negligee? Never. Well, there you are, then. Tomorrow, you can buy a negligee of your own with this. Five pounds. Mm. Five pounds. Present for a good girl. Uh, oh, no, I couldn't take it. Really, I couldn't. Oh, go on. Where are you going now? Uh, uh, I'm going to get dressed. I can't walk about like this all night, can I? Thank you very much for the present. Well, I really shouldn't take it. Uh, look, there is a condition. When you've bought the negligee, I want to see you in it. Oh, I don't think I'll get one of these. I think I'll get a new spring coat. That is, if you don't mind, if you do. Look, you're not angry. No. Well, that's all right then. Oh, never mind. I'm going downstairs for a drink. Your slippers. You forgot your slippers. What did she say? She said it's done. It's done, is it? Yes, it's done. Well, that might poke it up for a day or two, but it'll be kinder to put her to sleep. What did you say? You should have Flossie put to sleep, Auntie. Sleep? The gentleman has given Flossie some stuff to make her sleep. No, no, she should be put to sleep for her own sake. She's very old. Eh? Hey? Flossie's very old, Auntie. Yes, she's very old. The gentleman says Flossie is very old. I'll look in again later. Good afternoon. Sarah, have you spoken to her? Not yet, but you're going to. Yes, yes, yes. Don't interfere. Be quiet. I'll do the talk. Oh, she'll make all the difference, all the difference in the world. She's going, Sarah. Shh. I've done all through the bedrooms and the kitchen, Auntie. What about your tea? Well, that's all right. I'm meeting my friend Violet, and I'll catch an early train. Oh, yes. All right, all right. Jenny, we, your Aunt Louisa and me, we wanted to ask you if you've made up your mind. About what? Your dad hasn't spoken to you. 
No, her dad hasn't spoken to her. Shh. You sure? He didn't tell you about moving in here. Moving in? That's right, dear. Live it here to look after us. We spoke to him, you see. The shop's not doing well. Hardly a living for one, let alone two. He said it was a good idea. We've always been fond of you, Jenny. You're like our own child. Like our own daughter. You will have the gramophone and the wireless. It's no life for you living where you are. I mean, we can be company for you. We can be company for each other. And my dad said I was coming. We thought he'd have told you. He said likely he'd come after Easter. <laughs> Gone? She didn't answer. She didn't even say goodbye. you tell a fellow what your name was before you let him get as far as that, wouldn't you? I'm sick of parading up and down, Vi. I'm not in the mood. No, you're not. You've made that obvious all afternoon. Oh, I'm sorry. It's what my aunt said. I couldn't go and live there. Everything's old. It stinks. The whole place stinks. You don't have to go. My dad has fixed it all up. The world's full of old people fixing our lives for us. I don't ever want to get old. Oh, never mind. It'll work out, lovey. Hey, Jen, those couple of fellas are still watching us. Don't look. We don't want them to think we're interested. She's just what I need. I suppose I fancy that one. Eh? Hey? Well, last time I got the bird with her fat legs and big teeth. I want first pick this time. Yeah, well, I'll tell you what we do, Boyle. We play it by ear. They're just kids. I fancy a man who's more sort of mature. I think you get more respect from an older man. Not the older men I've met, Jenny. The older they get, the worse they get. Uh, excuse me. Did you say Jenny? Come on, Vi. I ought to think about my train. Will you mean it right or miss that? Now what do we do? Wait here for a couple of mature men. I just don't like being picked up, that's all. I think it's common. It's all right for you. You can afford to pick and choose. Why don't you look where you're going? Oh, pardon moi, mademoiselle. Allow me. <laughs> look who's here. Well, you remember me, don't you? In the shop yesterday. You remember? <laughs> I remember you, Ted. I certainly remember you. Oh, this is a lovely place. Don't you think so, Jenny? Yes, it's very nice. They must have done it up since we were here last. Hey? Do you come here a lot, then? Oh, I always stop here when I've got business in Cardiff. It's the best hotel in the place. It costs a packet, mind you, but uh, I like the comfort of getting out. Well, now, sweetheart, what, what do you have? Oh, I don't know. What are you having, Jenny? I don't know. Do you know, I think I fancy a glass of champagne. <laughs> Champagne. The little lady wants champagne. Champagne it is. Same for you, darling. Uh, yes. Y yes, please. Yeah, I'll be back in two shakes of dog's tail. Don't go away, no. I I'll come and give you a hand. Hey, you've got a nerve asking for champagne. Why not? We don't want them to think we don't know, do we? No. A bit of luck meeting them. This is a super place. The way you talk as if you've never been in a place like this before. I haven't. Well, try and look as if you have, will you? Now, nah, they'll be okay when we get them warmed up a bit. I've come across dolls like that before. Put a finger on their knee and they scream blue murder. It's just a question of getting them warmed up. But what on champagne? She's got big ideas, that one has. <laughs> relax, sonny, relax. How about this, sir? How much? Ten shillings a bottle. There you are. What did I tell you? They'll never know from the real thing. Right, um, go shove it in a bucket, will you, old man? You know, ice, all the remains. Very good, sir. <laughs> Oh, 
<laughs> Anyone ever tell you you was a cracker? What, me? Yes, you, darling, a cracker. You are just saying that. I'm not, you know. You're good enough to eat. Matter of fact, I'm uh, working up quite a nice little appetite. No! <laughs> now what? Behave yourself. Why? Well, I know. You might have a wife at home, for all I know. Why? I mean, I don't want my... I don't want my eyes scratched out. Oh, don't sleep, darling. I haven't got your kids, you know. Uh, I was only saying there was a girl in the car. Oh, you mean Maggie? Yes, she's one of our models. Model? Yeah. Yeah, well, I'm in the advertising game, see, and, uh, well, I had to bring her down to do a couple of commercials. TV? Yeah, well, we do a bit of all sorts, you know, TV, films, magazines, a lot. It must be very interesting. Oh, it's all right. It's got its drawbacks, same as everything else. <laughs> <laughs> I'll drive you back. Uh, if you're sure it's not too much trouble. Trouble? Don't be silly, darling. It'll be a pleasure. Mind you, I'd, I'd rather be taking it to Paris. <laughs> you know what? I don't think you're very nice. No, Mr. Andy, whatever your name is. <laughs> Morning, Blue Eyes. Where's Violet? Violet? Oh, Violet. Safe at home. I expect we dropped her off. Did you have a good night? Whose place is this? Mine. It's not bad, eh? Uh, I've just made a cup of chow. I'll go and pour it out. Here we are. 
get mud. It's hot. Make with hot water. Why? Why didn't you take me home the same as Violet? Oh, couldn't find your village, darling. Anyway, you wouldn't go. Who? Well, what happened? How did I? Don't ask me, Mother. Well, I'll just shove the pair of you in there and shut the door. It wasn't your first time, was it? Or was it? Oh, well, you know, say that is the French say, eh? What am I going to say? What am I going to tell them at home? Tell him you're a big girl now. Look, I've, I've got to get weaving. There's some, um, there's grub in the kitchen if you want it. Help yourself. And the, uh, the you know what's through there. You can't leave me. Well, appreciate the compliment, darling, but I've got work to do. I've got to live, you know. Where's Andy? Oh, he doesn't live here, love. Where is he? I've got to see him. He said he'd meet you in the King and Queen at one o'clock. That's a pub off the Edgware Road. Where are we? Oh, blimey, didn't he tell you? You're in the big city now, girl. You're in London. <laughs> Try the lounge bar. Hmm? Along there, far end. He might be waiting in there. What time did you arrange? One o'clock, but I was a bit late. I got lost. I don't know my way around London. <laughs> yeah, it is a bit of a maze if you don't know it. He might have got held up himself, you know. But why don't you sit down and have a drink? Come on. Oh, no, I... Come on. What would you like? Sherry? No, thank you. Oh, come on. Have something. Cheer yourself up. I'll bring you sherry, OK? Sherry, thank you. John, keep your sherry. You don't waste much time, do you? What? I've got eyes in my head, you know. I've got eyes. Oh, do you mean that girl? Do you mean her? Come on, she only wanted a sherry. Well, sherry, is that all she wants? We'll soon satisfy her, then, can't we? Love, thank you, God. Uh, yes, and you, which much right to be here, is anyone else? Watch him. He started again. Yeah, if two words, I can't go, right. I'd buy you a drink. Now, now, sit down, the both of you. Oh, no, no. Come on, Barry. Look, I'd buy you a drink. Oh, Barry, come on. No, I can't go till I bought my friends a drink. Yeah, tomorrow I'll do. Come on, Barry. darling girl. I can't go wait and buy her a drink. Come along. Ah, me lovely woman. Come can't go wait and buy her a drink. There you are. Cheerio. <laughs> No, I'm seriously thinking of writing to the papers about that. I mean, that building's an historic monument. Put it down to be vandalism. Afternoon, Mr. Eccles. Afternoon, Robert. After all, there aren't so many 16th century manor houses left, ma'am. There you are. Thank you. How much do I owe you? Oh, on the house. No, really? On the house. You say so? I do say so. But no sign of your friend yet? No. I don't know what I'll do if he doesn't come. I was relying on him. Oh? About a job. What do you do there? Actually, I I'm a model. I, I do modelling. For, for artists and that, do you sort of pose? Really, do I look that sort? <laughs> well, no, but... Uh... No, clothes. I, I model clothes. You know, gowns and dresses. And... I see. i better get on with my job. Thank you for the sherry. My pleasure. Mr. 
You know, you can tell you've been a sailor. I mean, the way you row. Oh, you don't get much chance to do this at sea. You must have been to hundreds of places. Oh, I've been around a bit. Um, India, South America, Australia, United States. Hollywood? You haven't been to Hollywood, have you? Oh, yes, yeah, of course. Gosh. <laughs> no, of course not. I'm hoping to emigrate to Australia. You're not. Yes, I am. I'm saving up to give myself a good start. I've never fancied Australia. When you get there, will you send me a postcard? Yeah, you try and stop me. Tell you what, better still. Send me back a kangaroo. <laughs> <laughs> she wasn't home at all. You didn't get a message or nothing? No. Are you going to do something? No. She wants to go joyriding in cars, thinking the farther away from me she is, the better. But, but you can't just leave her. Can't I? But, but you don't know what will happen to her. I know exactly what will happen to her. And I shan't lose a minute's sleep over it. If she's gone to London, she'd better stay there. We've got half an hour, yep. We can wait here. Sure you wouldn't like a drink? I'm all right. Something to eat. Mm. Uh, Jenny, don't think I'm butting in. Uh, I mean, tell me about my own business, if you like, but... What I'm trying to say is, you're not in any kind of trouble, are you? You tell me if you were. You let me help you. I don't see how anyone can help me. You are in trouble. Yeah. What is it? Tell me, please. I can't go home. I mean, there's my father and... Yes? I can't stay here. I've got no money and, and no friends. You've got me. Now tell me what's wrong. It would be fair. And you couldn't help me anyway. How'd you know? Look, Jenny, I know you're well enough to know that whatever it is... You can't say that. You only met me today. You don't know what sort of person I am. Yes, I do, Jenny. I do. Bob. Look, you better make up your mind. I'm going to help you whether you like it or not. Come on now, out with it. I'm going to have a baby. Well, you wanted to know. You got it out of me. Why don't you get up and leave me? Why don't you go? Don't worry, Jenny. Don't worry. TV tomorrow night, I'm in it. Oh? What, just, you know, three lines in a spit. <laughs> this way, Jenny. Don't cough or you'll miss me. Whew. Here we are. Oh, it's very nice, Bob. Very nice. Oh, it's not bad. I think it's marvellous. Are they yours? Yeah, most of them. I get one new book every month. I love a good read. There's nothing to beat it, I'd say. The Origin of the Kiss. Well, it's a scientific book, really. I bet. Well, it explains... Look, it traces the history of the human kiss. I'd rather not know. Oh. Let's take your coat. Thank you. Hey! Your curtain's tall. You would notice that. I didn't mean you to see to it. Well, you've got better things to do, I should think. You find me a needle and thread, and I can fix that in no time. What's the matter? I'm going to sew that curtain before I leave here. After all you've done for me, it's the least I can do. Okay. Where are you going? Go to the kettle. That man on the landing, is he an actor? Yeah. On the films? Uh, yeah, films and telly. I, I don't know him very well. Oh, look, you're tired. Okay. You're tired, and I don't try to get some sleep. You've had a rough day. Well, what about you? I can't turn you out. You just do as you're told. Yes, Bob.
Yes, Mrs. Jessup? Oh, they'll kill me, these stairs. They'll bring the death of me one of these days. Is anything wrong? Well, you're the best judge of that, young man. You've got a visitor. Yeah, a friend of mine. She looks like a whore to me. Now, look here, Mrs. Don't Jessup. Don't you get on your high horse with me, young man. Is she proposing to stay the night? No, it's not what you think. And don't she... tell me what to think. I knew you were up to something by the way you crept in. Look. All right, she's a poor kid. She I got... couldn't care less. Now, look, you rent a single room here. Remember yeah, but... that. Not a double. I know, Not but a she... double one. So you can't expect it for the same rent, can you? Wouldn't be honest. Look, she'll be here for one night, two at the most. I charge four pounds for a double room. Thirty shillings more than you pay. I'll settle at the end of the week. I'd rather you settle now, thank you. Yeah, well, that satisfy you. Thirty shillings, please. Not twenty. Look, she'll be here for one night. My terms are by the week, or part of a week. That's better. Now we're square. Careful of that bed. It won't take too much weight. What's the matter? It's all right. Fire's gone out. Just needs another shilling. You're cold. You're shivering. No, it's all right. Just a bit chilly. Here, take one of these blankets. No, no, I'll be all right. You've got to sleep. Go on. Come on, take one. Whoever made this bed made it to last. Yeah, let me give you a hand. Of. It's better than being the other way. Isn't it funny how moonlight makes everything seem different? Sort of softer. We could be anywhere now, really. Sailing on a yacht in the Mediterranean. Or on a desert island. Or in some great palace. Be anywhere. We could be anybody. I could be a countess, or the wife of some fabulous millionaire, or a film star. A fabulous film star in her boudoir in Hollywood. Now you're laughing at me. You think I'm soft? No, I don't. I think you're wonderful.
Williams. Come in. Ah, oh, Mr. Williams, come in, come in. Shut the door. Look, thank you. Four pounds again this week. Our little miss is becoming a permanent fixture, is she? Well, um, she'll be staying a few more days, yes. My first floor front will be vacant next week. I shall be sorry to lose him. He's a gentleman. Would you be interested? Uh, I'm not sure. But has a double bed. You can't be comfortable on a single, two of you. There isn't the novelty worn off yet. No, I'll let you know. Well, I'll give you the first refusal. My husband always insisted on a big bed. Yes, he liked a big bed. Well, I've got to get on. Thank you. Right. Um, I'll let you know about the room. All right, then. the job. Phew. Thank you, love. Mm. I, uh, I haven't heard you mention Australia lately. You, you are still going, I suppose. Yeah, I expect so, one day. Oh, uh, I just wondered, now that you've taken up with this girl. Well, if I have anything to do with it, she'll be coming with me. Serious, then? This is it, as they say. <laughs> yeah, this is it. Oh, she's a wonderful kid, Ella. You should see what she's done to my room for a start. I'm sure she'll make a very good wife for you, Bob. Ah. Mm. Can I come in? Mr. Boyce. Oh, Charles, please. Charles. Or if you prefer it, Charlie. I prefer Charles. I'll let you into a little secret, so do I. <laughs> Guess. You've run out of milk again. Again. <laughs> I've heard all about you, actors. Do you mean? Do you mind? I fell out that sort. Thank you. Delicious smell of coffee. Would you like some? There is plenty. It only has to be heated up. It's the best offer I've had this month. <laughs> Thank you. Down, we'll be, oh, there's no hurry. Best thing this week. <laughs> oh, something will turn up. Going to a big party tonight. Might pick up something there. Oh, something will turn up. Now then, Ella, when are you going to come up to the studio and let me paint it? Go back to your large party, there. Still back, he loses joy. Yes, please, Ella. Two light Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Here we are, Mr. Thomas. How's your garden? Fine, thanks. Good. Same again, please, Bob. Ah, chill it. Mr. Baxter, one gin and tonic, please, Mrs. Pepp. Hello. Ah, yes? About that little proposal I put to you. I'm rather anxious to do the verdict. I haven't got time to stop and talk now. Later. Bob, you've got company. No? Yeah. Excuse me. I told you, you put that in the place. I asked him. I'm sorry. Four days. What are you doing here? Four days. Four days. Come on, no need to be so rough. You're hurting my arm. What's the matter with you? Look, Jenny, I've asked you not to come to the pub. Couldn't you have waited? I had to see. It was urgent. What about? It doesn't matter now. Oh, don't be silly, Jenny, if it was urgent. I told you it doesn't matter now. Look, Jenny, I'm supposed to be working. Oh, well, don't let me interfere with that. It's so important. Everything will go to rack and ruin if you don't work. Look, I'll be off at three for a couple of hours. I'll come back to our place and see you there. You can wait till then, can't it? I've told you it doesn't matter now. Look, I'm sorry, darling, but we are busy. I'll see you back at our place at three, OK? If I'm there. They can bloody well wait for five minutes, can't they? <laughs> Two meters over there. Oh, back to the wheel, you plot. All right, you clear that lot up. I'll do this. Come over here, sir. And I'll just wait. Well, look at the damn thing. Charlie? 
Exceptional, Jenny. Jenny. What are you doing? Washing your shirt if you must know. Sorry, darling. I didn't mean to upset you. I'm sorry. Fine, you'll get all wet. No, I shouldn't worry. And when you said... When you said you might not be here, so turn me over. I, I couldn't think of anything else. I don't know what I've been doing. I, I dropped a tray. I gave three people the wrong three. Oh, Jenny. I hope you don't think I meant it, do you? I do beg your pardon. <laughs> You're too lazy to look at the clock. Quarter past four. I'll be back by five. Well, you never told me what you wanted to see me for. Doesn't matter, it's not important. Oh, come on, you said it was urgent. It was. Are you going to get up for this? Yeah, I suppose I'm going to make a move. Do you want to know? What? What I came to see for. Oh, if you like. Well, I've got the chance of a job modelling, that's all. I've got to try and earn whilst I can and get a bit put by. I was talking to this actor friend of yours, Charles, as a matter of fact. What, and when was this? Oh, this morning he came up to buy some milk. Up and here? He... Charles was in here? It doesn't matter where it was. Let me get it out, please. Well, go on. Well, he's going to this party tonight and, and he said there'd be a lot of agents and people there. And he said I could go along with him and meet them. Charles says that's the only way to get in, is to meet them, sort of privately like. Huh. What does that mean? You're not going, Jim. Who says so? I say so. Since when have I taken orders from you? Look, if you go to that... Yes? Look, Jenny, I'm only telling you. I know. And I don't like it. Anyway, you can put your mind at rest. I can't go. I've got nothing to go in. That was why I wanted to see you. I wanted to get some money to buy a dress. Oh, waste of time dressing up for those sort of parties. Girls always finish up with nothing on anyway. Oh, very funny. Oh, come on, Jenny. Don't maul me. You're all the same. You get what you want and you don't care about anyone else. It doesn't matter about me, what I want. Do you know what you want? Yes, I do. I want to get on. I want to make something of myself, be somebody. Look. Look, is she any better than me? Oh, Jenny. Is her bust any better than mine? Answer me, I'm asking you. Well, you're not spots off her, Jenny. Right. So she's the same age as me. She's been in five films already, on television and everything, and do you know where she is now? Selling herself on the French Riviera. And you want that? I want something. I want something good to happen to me before I die. I don't know, Jenny. I, I just don't understand. Look at it. Just look at it. I used to dream about London. It's funny when you think about it. Sometimes I used to watch television at my friend's house. I used to sit there glued to that set. Glued to it. Jenny. In the plays. Even in the adverts. People had such fabulous things. Houses with dozens of rooms and lovely furniture and terrific bathrooms. And swimming pools. And long white cars. Enormous white cars. People drinking champagne on aeroplanes. Aeroplanes going all over the world. And the women in such fabulous furs. I saw a film once where the girl had a wardrobe the whole length of one room with hundreds of dresses in it. And then you switch off. And you're back in the village. Well, you've got this. So that's it. So that's what you want. I want some of it. I want my share. Why do they show us these things if we're not meant to have them? Jenny, I love you. And as far as I'm concerned, you are somebody. Well, that helps a great deal. The barman thinks I'm somebody. That's bound to get my picture in the papers. How much do you want? For that dress? Be ten pounds. Ten pounds.
not a lady, Joe. How are you? I fly catch you dead the next time I saw you. Well, why? What have I done? You went to Rome without me. Darling, I was five days on a neck. I was working. They threw me to the lion. Really? I hope the money was good. Oh, don't talk about money, sweetheart. It makes me feel like a tar. Edgar, stop! Here you are, lovely. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. I want to go to the old thing. So, not that they've asked you, darling. Well, even if they did, I still couldn't afford it, dear heart. Never mind, darling, there's always traffic for you. Well, that may be. That's all right. the same, Ducky. Well, Put your new there. Well, I don't know. I mean, I'm sure he liked my audition. Oh, I'm sure well, he I thought I was very good at it. Yes, well, no, it's yes. That's my name, I said. You have the nerve to stand there and ask me my name. I mean, after 18 weeks on the road with private lives, we slept together five nights out of seven. You can't even remember my name. No, I should tell you. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Sorry, manners. Oh, well, granted, darling. You are not in the rat race, I take it. Pardon? All this. Oh, no, um, actually, I'm a model. Oh, darling, you're just what I need. Why don't you come back to my place? I'll show you my press cutting, and then we'll make beautiful love together. No, thank you. Oh, well, excuse me, darling. I must find somebody more pliable. I get neurotic if I don't have a balanced sex life. Katie's here. Katie's here. Katie's here. Who? Oh, Daddy. Oh, Daddy. Daddy. He's the boss. Six. someone about a job. Oh, yes. Yep. She's a model, you know. Oh, really? Yep. A model. That's where she's gone tonight. She's seeing this man about getting fixed up for the job. Oh, well, if you're not in a hurry tonight, would you fancy coming for a cup of tea? Seems a long time. Only if you fancy it, I mean. All right. Why not? Good night, Mrs. Pitt. Good night, dear. Good night, Mrs. Pitt. Good night. Oh. to do that in the middle of counting. Wait a minute. Did you speak to Bob? Not yet, not yet. Well, he was worse tonight. Work's gone to pot. If you don't tell him, I will. I'll do it, but he's got to be done right. If we rub him up the wrong way, you'll walk out. It comes to something when you've got to crawl to the staff. Well, that's how it is. If he walks out, well, you try finding another man. I should have done that years ago. A pity you didn't. Where are you going? Bed. Why, well, I want to come. No, thanks. I gave that up a long time ago. Anyway, where would you get the energy? That was quick. Yeah, they are quick, these places, aren't they? Yes, I suppose so. Mind you, I prefer service myself. You know, personal service. Oh, so do I, every time. That's what counts. Exactly. Personal service counts. Sugar? I shouldn't really. Oh, go on. You've got nothing to worry about. Yeah, I would if I didn't watch it, though. <laughs> well, here we are, then. Hmm? Oh, you have got it bad. I hope I get an invite to the wedding. Wedding? Oh, yeah, you'll be there. Don't worry. Oh, well, there is going to be a wedding, isn't there? I mean, nothing's wrong, is it? No! <laughs> oh, yeah, then. There is a bit of a complication. Oh, well, what is it? Oh, no, I'm spinozy. Oh, I don't mind telling you, I mean. Well, you ought to know. You can trust me by now. Well, Jenny's going to have a baby, you see. Well, you have been and done it, haven't you? And I thought you were one of the clever ones. Oh, I didn't mind. I mean, it happened before I met her. You mean to sit there and tell me you're going through with it? Well, what else can I do? All I can say is you must have got it bad. Poor old Bob. All the pain and none of the pleasure. <laughs> I don't even know if she will marry me. I haven't asked her. But... Well, I don't want her to think I'm doing it out of charity. 
But on the other hand, but it stands to reason. She wouldn't look twice at me if things were normal. A girl like that can just take a pick. Well, she might be able to take a pick, but if she come up with anybody half as good as you, she'd be lucky. Dead lucky. <laughs> I think there's something very good in it for you. Well, thanks very much, Mr. Denny. Who's that girl? Oh, I'll fetch it for you. You want to? No, no, no. What she do? What's her name? I don't know her name. She says she's a model. Oh, give her this. I think I may be able to use her, too. Tell her to call around sometime. Right. Tomorrow night at 8 o'clock. Hey, for you. What is it? Well, come on, sweetheart. You've been noticed. Yes, I want you to call around there tomorrow night at 8 o'clock. What's that? Oh, sweetie, Ali, you're a lovely good actress, so you're a lot more nice. I think he looks nice. Yeah, very. Just a great, big, warm, sentimental, cuddly teddy bear with a heart like a cement mixer. <laughs> <laughs> Jenny. What are you doing here? Waiting for you. Oh, and all that rain. Dear old Bob. Lovely old Bob waiting for Jenny. Oh, you've had a few, haven't you? Oh, Bob's in a bad mood. You can tell Bob's in a bad mood. Jenny, who was that? <laughs> well, never mind. Come on. Come on, come on. Come on, Bob. It was wonderful. We had real champagne and we were dancing on an actual stage. It was more. Jenny, other people are asleep. Sure, the people are asleep. Other people are asleep. Shut up, little dog. Come on, come on. Not ready, not ready, not ready. Shut up. Shut up. I have a date, Jenny. Oh, it's Charles. Oh, dear Charles. Go back, take Darling it. Charles. Oh, Thank you for a wonderful oh, no, party. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Come on, Jenny. Yeah, that's enough, dear. See you tomorrow, yes, Charles. Yes, good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Come on, say, open us two nights. Throw out Sing themselves lucky we stay here. Singing rotten horns. Jenny, please shut up. Anyway. Well, oh, say something. What? Oh, yes, very nice. Very nice? Somebody told me I looked beautiful. One woman thought I'd got it in Paris. I didn't say that I'd got it off the peg in Oxford Street. Did you get a job? Uh, oh. Oh, you're sweet, 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 sweet. Oh, no, Bob. No, you're all wet and you'll spoil my hair. Would you unzip my dress, please? You see, I've been very economical. I got the dress and the unders and the shoes, and I've got four shillings change. Oh, wonderful. Here you are. No, never mind, Jenny. No, 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 it's your money. You must have it there, all square. Thanks. Don't mention it. Ah, wonderful bed. Hey, and where am I supposed to kip? Oh, Bob, you sleep on the chair tonight. I want to stretch.
Your turn. You mean we haven't finished? No, we're only halfway through the second game. The first was enough for me. Look, Jenny, if only you concentrated. Look, watch that girl over there. So what do we do now, cheer? Oh, come on, I give up. You're the winner. Of course, it's still raining. Oh, am I fed up with this weather? We can get a cup of tea here. We spend our lives drinking tea. I oh, won't be a minute. Could go up the West End afterwards, see a new picture, cheer you up. Don't be sarcastic, it doesn't suit you. Look, I don't get you. I mean, last night we were all laughing and singing today, you... Well, go on, say it. Well, you've got to admit it, you're like a bear with a sore head. Yeah. <laughs> Jen, I think we ought to get married. Yes? No, I mean, married, you and me. I heard you. See, what I mean is, if we get married right away, it won't matter about the baby, see? Everybody will think it's mine, and I won't say any different. There's a bigger room going in the house, and we could move in there for a while. What brought this on all of a sudden? Oh, it's not all of a sudden, Jim. Ever since you told me about the baby, I've been trying to work something out. I spoke to Ella about it. Ella, at the pub? You've talked to her about me? Yeah. Yeah, she's a good sort. Oh, she must have enjoyed that. She hates me. Oh, don't be silly. Jim. She hates the sight of me. And you want to know why? She fancies you herself. Ella? Oh, go on, you're making it up. All right, ask her. And whilst you're at it, tell her I shan't be needing her assistance, thank you very much. What do you mean? There isn't going to be any baby. False alarm, as a matter of fact. When did you know? I've known for two or three days now. But you couldn't have, Jenny, I would... Well, aren't you glad? Yeah, yeah, of course I'm glad it... Cece, so you needn't marry me now. What are you talking about? It makes it easier, I want to. Jenny, will you? What about this movie, then? But you haven't answered my question. Well, you don't expect me to answer Pat like that, do you? Well, when will you tell me? Well, I don't know. Tonight or tomorrow. Sometime. If we go now, what time will we be out? Oh, about half past seven. Oh. Well, I've got to be somewhere at eight. It won't give me enough time. Somewhere where? I've got to see someone about a job. But you never told me. Well, I've only just remembered, Bob. Don't make an issue out of it. It's Thursday. It's the one evening I have off in the entire week. I know, and I'm sorry, but I can't help it. And you talk as if it was my fault. I'll tell you what. I'll see you back at the pub at nine. Will that satisfy you? Jenny, who is it you're going to see? Oh, someone. Charles. Is it Charles? Him? What do you take me for? Well, some other man, then. Might be. Oh, Jenny. Don't grab hold of me. You might think you won't be, but you don't. Where I go and what I do is my business. Tonight, isn't it? What most people tend to overlook, Ella, is the advantage of security. Yes, yes, that does mean a lot. It means everything. Ella. Oh, excuse me. Hello, up again, Ella. You're going into a bit tonight, aren't you, Bob? Well. Oh, sorry, sorry, I spoke. No, wait. Make it a scotch. Double. Thanks. <laughs> What's the matter, Bob? What's gone wrong? You know what they say, don't you? It's a long lane that has no turning. Bob, what do you make of Mr. Eccles? Do you know something? Now, don't laugh. He wants to marry me. Ian? Yes, what do you think? You could do a lot worse. You think I should? You've got plenty of the ready, haven't you? Yes. Right, then you grab him while you can. Be like all the others, Ella. Look after number one. Take what you can get. Young man's drunk. What was he saying to? Nothing special. See? I should be glad to take you away from all this, you know. What's wrong with all this? Well, it's, it's not quite the sort of place, is it? You don't seem to mind it. Anyway, who said anything about taking me away? I shouldn't take so much for granted if I were you. Ella!
Good night, Carl. Good night, Carl. Oh, Carl. Oh, leave him, darling. He can't hear anyway. He's uh, busy. No problem. Yes, I expect he is. Oh, uh, dang it. Now, look, if I were you, I'd take him up on that. If you could get him on the ground. Hello? Excuse me. Hello? Yes. Oh. Hello, Jenny. What are you doing here, spying on me? No. Oh, yes. Oh, never mind. What do you want? Well, I was waiting at the pub, like you said, see, but I got worried. Go back to the room. I won't be much longer. I'll wait. You can't. Come here, Celine. There. Satisfied? Go home and wait for me, Bob. Who is this man, Jenny? He's no one. He's just someone who can help me get a job. That's all. Honestly. Well, how did you meet him? I, I, I met him at this party that Charles took me to. Who gave you that money? What? In your bag last night, there was a five-pound note. It's mine. I, I've had it for ages, ever since I left Wales. Then why did you want money from me for a dress? I'll explain later. No, Jenny, I've got to know. He's been going round and round in my head all day, and I've got to know. I brought the money with me from Wales. I asked you for some because I didn't want to break into it, that's all. Look, Jenny, how can I believe anything you say? You lied to me about having a baby. Uh, you lied to me about being a model. You tell so many lies, you don't know when you're lying and when you're speaking the truth. I brought the money with me. It's the gospel truth, honestly. Where do you think I got it from? From this man, Denny. Why should he want to give me money? You tell me, Jenny. Oh, I see. So I'm a prostitute now. No, I, I, I didn't mean that. I'm, I don't know what I'm saying half the time. Look, Jenny, I love you so much. And this is how you show it. Oh, Jenny, please. Don't touch me. I'm sick of you and your soft hands mauling me. So it's him. Him and this rotten mob. Yes. This rotten mob. I've got something they want. Well, they can have it. And they'll pay for it. Nothing's for nothing in this world. It's all business. All right, I'm in business. And it's no good you looking at me like a sick dog. You're nothing. You've always been nothing. And all you'll ever have is nothing. I'm done with you. Finished. What's all this? Get out. Jenny. My, my arm, it, it's bleeding. Who was that young man, Jenny? It, it was my brother. He, he heard Don't I was... Don't lie to me, Jenny. It was. He heard I was... Never lie to me, Jenny. Tomorrow we'll buy you some decent clothes. Then we'll have to find you somewhere to live. A muse cottage, perhaps. And a little car. You won't find me ungenerous, Jenny. You won't find me unchanged. Here, Doc. Too late, Inspector. Too late? I'm not a miracle man. Oh, here. She must have taken the lot. Okay, come in. I'll get my report this afternoon, Inspector. Thanks, Doc.
Good morning, Inspector. Find this outside, sir. Nothing special in it. Compact, lipstick, small change. No letters, anything like that? No, sir. Always at our fair home. Yes, sir. And then there's this. A lot of telephone numbers. All men. Could be her friends. Could be. Shall I try any of them, sir? I can tell you what they'd say before you start. Sir? Oh, yes, we knew her. We knew Jenny. But there was nothing between us. We were just good friends. 